welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my everyday makeup look. I get so many questions on my everyday makeup look and my staple makeup products that I go to every day. This makeup look I wear to work. I wear when I'm rushing at the door and I need to kind of look a little bit more presentable. Today, between filming and everything, it took me about 20 minutes to do. On average, I'd have this done in five minutes. I mean, I know the products and the routine to a T now, so I do it really, really quickly. And I'm sure you guys appreciate a simple kind of go-to everyday look and that's what this is. The thing that changes the most is probably the lip colour obviously. Today I'm wearing like a mixture of Pure Zen and Myth and then wear a lip liner so the lip does change and obviously the combo of eyeshadows changes from day to day but usually it's the same three shadows in the crease all the time and then the same kind of highlight shadow all the time because I'm just a creature of habit like that. He did request this on Snapchat yesterday. I was wearing this very same look and he you guys went crazy for it and it's so simple and so easy and I hope you enjoy it. The lashes are completely optional. I don't ordinarily wear lashes every single day but I just thought to kind of make it a bit more interesting. I would apply some eyelashes. So guys if you want to see this full tutorial then stay tuned. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye. Like always I'm going to start this tutorial off by priming my face. I forgot to put a clip of this but I am using the L'Oreal Lumi Magic base and then I'm applying my L'Oreal True Match in W4 all over my face with my Beauty Blender just bouncing that onto my skin because this gives a gorgeous glowy appearance without being too full coverage. I'm using my Inglot under eye concealer and this is in the colour number 95. I'm just applying this in a triangle shape underneath my eyes just to brighten up that area and look tired enough as it is so I want to cover up those bags. I'm gonna set my under eye area with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color light and set my face makeup in my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in medium golden or is it golden medium? One or the other. I'll have it written down below. Then I'm taking MAC Give Me Sun and I'm gonna use this ever so lightly with the Zoeva brush and just kind of apply it around the contours of my face. This has a slight shimmer in it, but I think it's perfect for everyday wear. Then I'm taking Nars' Orgasm, I'm placing that in the apples on my cheeks. And then I'm taking the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Perfect Topping and applying that to the tops of my cheeks. I am taking Herb Decay's Primer Potion, priming my eyelid. And then I'm going in with all these are all Makeup Geek shadows, but first I'm taking Peach Smoothie. I'm going to place that straight into my crease. And on top of that, I am placing Chickadee from Makeup Geek also, just to kind of intensify by the crease. I love this color yellow. I just think it's so unusual, so beautiful, so rare. I don't think there's that many shadows like it. And then going in with Makeup Geek's Coco Bear. And I'm taking this on a fluffier brush. This is the 217 from MAC. I'm going to place this in the same crease position but bringing it more into the inner corner and on the outer corner of the eye. The fluffier brush is going to give it more of a wash of colour but very buildable. I'm then taking my Rimmel Accelerator Mascara and then I'm going to apply a few coatings of this to my upper and lower lashes. I love how long this makes my lashes look. I'm taking my Inglot Gel Eyebrow product in this in the number 15 and I'm going to place that through my brows again the struggle with my brows is always real so you gotta be light handed with this product or they can look like two blocks then I'm going in with the Penny's individual lashes these are 150 or 250 something really really inexpensive I'm just gonna apply these about three or four of them just to the base of my lashes just on the outer corner of my eye Then I'm taking World Lip Liner and just outlining my natural lip line, overdrawing a little bit on the lower part of my lip and again on the same on my upper part of my lip, just to kind of make my lips look a bit more pouty. And then going in with Myth actually, I'm sorry guys. I don't know why I said Pure Zen at the beginning of this video, I only used Myth. And then I'm gonna do some awkward posing. <laughs> if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Talk to you in my next video. I love you guys so much. 